Brad last week you spoke about your work rate. Were you pleased with tonight's work rate? Oh, the, the work rate wasn't an issue for us. It was more just our um, execution, mostly by foot, probably overhandled the ball a little bit. And um, you know, that's credit to the opposition's pressure. So oh, I was happy with our work rate. Were you pleased with the way you finished off the game? Oh, look, the way we finished off the game was, um, you know, with all due respect to the opposition, was clearly with next week in mind. Um, we haven't been worried about the scenarios and permutations of where we might play next week in the finals. So, Percentage, to be honest, was the last thing on our minds. It was more making sure that our players go into next week in good shape, regardless of the venue. So, you know, obviously it wasn't a pretty game, I didn't think, but, um, you know, we played our best midfielder at full forward for the second half, just to, he got a bit of a knock and, you know, subbed off Lockie Hanson when he passed all his concussion tests, but he didn't. The medical diagnosis was that he didn't feel great. So we subbed him off and um, as a precaution and, made sure that we, our list went into next week with, in as good a shape as we can possibly get it. No, nah, I, th I think that the bottom side stuff's irrelevant. I think, you know, you'd have to ask them how they approach this game, but it certainly appears to me that when you play your most experienced side of the year in the last game, um, you know, and you, you have the emotional high of a couple of you know, experienced players playing their, their last game and last game at Skoda Stadium for the year. And, you know, we knew that we were potentially walking into a bit of an ambush. So, you know, we had to be ready for that. And we got what we expected at the start, a really good contest. Um, but, you know, our, our players do, we do have to improve our professionalism in these situations because there's no doubt that, um, you know, again, like last week, probably a few of our players subconsciously are thinking about what's to come in September. But for us, it's a it's a fantastic achievement as a footy club to be to be back in September. Our supporters should be really excited about going to another final series. So we've you know we've won 11 out of our last 13. So we're going in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think it's a great achievement by the players. You know, they've they've done a great job in getting us to this position, and you know we we acknowledge that we've still got a lot of things we've got to improve on, but. Um, you know, the last couple of weeks have thrown up different scenarios for us. We've played players in different positions, so you know we'll uh, we'll go back and have a look at all that and, and really look forward to next week. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's only the second time he's played as a sub, so um, you know he did that pretty well. And he's we know that he can hit the scoreboard. He's a pretty electric sort of player. So um, we've got a couple who do that. Matty Campbell's been doing it pretty well too. So um, and we look forward to hopefully getting some inclusions. Back into our side next week. We think Daniel Wells and Nathan Grimer will both be available. So, you know, it's exciting times for our club. So was Wells fairly close this week? Yeah, he was. He was. But, um, you know, he didn't... He was... Look, medically, he was probably fit to play, but we didn't feel that he'd trained uh, for long enough. So, you know, it'd be disastrous to go into this game and re-injure himself. So, you know, we took every precaution there and, you know, we expect he'll be right to go, barring any mishaps next week. Do you feel you Yeah, I, th I think that, that our focus was certainly on on getting our list in good shape, you know, physically and, and, and mentally getting into a, a good space ready to play next week. And, you know, we welcome the challenge wherever it is, whether it's in Perth, whether it's in Melbourne, regardless of who we play, you know, uh, 11 out of the last 13 wins is pretty good form. There's a lot said about these Geelong players in the Hawthorne uh, West Coast and West Finals sort of chin-ups. What, what do you take away from them? Oh, not much, to be, not much. I mean, we just, we did what we had to do. Um, as I said, other people can worry about percentage. I think it's a poor mindset when you start. Now, a coach should almost never use the word. You know, it's about, about how you play and, um, you know, and getting your players mentally and physically prepared to play. So we've earned the right to play finals and it's a great time for our club. No, it's a different style of game, I think. So it's 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 hard to tell, but um, you know, the, we worked really hard on the track last week, and tonight's game was a different style of game. But um, you know, I think that uh, that Frio game will really hold us in good stead. But you know, we got we got touched up by some pretty good, talented young players early on in the contest. So um, they're going to be. Uh, I think that's the easiest we'll have it at Skoda Stadium for the near future. Yeah, 
Oh, he was, yeah, he was terrific tonight. He was um, particularly early. I mean, we were getting um, beaten in the contest so badly that if we didn't have him in our defence, we might have been further behind. So, but he gets a big job every week. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks.